and we're back to learning Inkscape and this time I'm going to show you how to create a sunglasses icon. At first press Ctrl R so that you can see your rulers and make sure the snapping is enabled, we'll keep the defaults. Now drag this guide out of your rulers, create a rectangle. We need a bigger rectangle as well. Reposition it so that you've got an overlap. Let's resize it a little bit. But we can work with that. Now make a thinner rectangle that's a little bit longer, something like this. Click on it again and you can rotate it. Reposition it and the snapping should help you in finding this corner point. Let me give that different colors so that you can see all of them. I select the red one, press Ctrl D and I give it a different color. Now I hold shift when I resize that. So that way both sides are adjusted at the same time. So the approach is to create these basic shapes first. In the next step we're going to perform cutouts. And it's always the same procedure. Let us create an ellipse, something like this. Position it on one of these basic shapes. Then hold shift, select the ellipse and the basic shape, then go to path and difference, and you've got this cutout. You may have to adjust it a little bit, rotate it, reposition it, and perform the operation again till you've got what you want. Always press Ctrl Z if you don't like the results and do it again. But this is what we have to do now a couple of times. Let me use the Vizier tool to create another cutout element, maybe like a triangle. So as I've said, it's the same process. I didn't like this one. Let me press Ctrl Z and I make it bigger. I reposition it a little bit. And now I do it again. So hold Shift, click on the cutout object and the element that you want to cut from. Then use Path and Difference. Let's take care of the small rectangle. And this time we also have to align it properly. So go to object to use align and distribute. And it's important what the drop down here says. In this case, it's last selected. So I have to select the black element last because this is what I want to align it to. But then again, select the move path difference. Once you've got your cutouts, select them all, then go to path, object to path. Now select these objects one by one and use the plus sign right here. We're going to perform a corners path effect and we'll use the notes tool for that. So just left click and drag and you've got round corners.
for the yellow element. We're going to do it again, but this time use the notes tool and select all of these notes at once. Once you've got something that you like, select it all, make it all black. I'll give the glasses, so the former yellow element, a different color. And then the icon for the thumbnail that I'm using for this video. I've created kind of like a diagonal cut here. We can just use the busy tool once more. Create this shape. Then select the grayish element in the background as well. So once again, hold shift, click on them both. But this time don't use difference, but go to path and use division. And now we've got two elements here and we'll give them different colors. The next step is to select it all, then press Ctrl D to copy and then flip it. You can use the top function right here. Reposition it, the snapping should help. Let me delete the guide, I hover over it, press the delete key. Give your glasses different colors on the right hand side. And we're basically done, but I don't really like the element in center, so let me delete that and I create a new rectangle. Align once again a cutout element, use path and difference. Once you're happy with what you've got, just select it all, Ctrl G to group it, and you're done. This so you can create a sunglass icon in Inkscape. I hope this video was helpful, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.